Hey everyone, it's me Grace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of my first term at Oxford University. But we're just going to be talking about the academics in this video. So this is also kind of like how much work does a first year chemist do at Oxford University? So I'm going to be just breaking down the amount of work that I do and then just talk about like how I found that. I just want to say also, I'm really sorry that I didn't vlog at all the first time. I was planning to vlog everything, but you guys will see in this video just how much work I have. And then also just like trying to find my feet, settle in, like, you know, meet people, make friends, you know, go out, have me time, just all this kind of stuff. I'm not really the best at time management. So I wasn't really able to film, but next term, next term, trust me guys, I'll actually film and vlog. So if you want to see Oxford vlogs, you want to see what it's like at Oxford University, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do have a move-in vlog. I did film a move-in vlog. I'll link that down below. So if you want to watch that, you can watch that. But yeah, so I am a first year chemist at Oxford University and I'm going to break down my workload. I just want to say that, you know, the workload does vary from course to course. So if you're not studying chemistry, the workload for your course might look different to this. Um, you know, like I'm not trying to draw out anybody's course, but courses like English, I know, you know, classics, like it's definitely a lot less work. And I think, um, I mean, it's still a lot of work. Like no matter what degree you do, I feel like it's still a lot of work. But if we're, if we're talking relatively, it is like a lot less to chemistry. And I feel like, I honestly feel like chemistry is the hardest degree at Oxford. And I'm not just saying that, like a lot of people have said that to me. Every time I tell people I'm doing chemistry, they always like, like their face is always like, wow, I feel so bad for you. Like we have an insane amount of contact hours, which you're going to see. Um, and also just so much work to do. So I feel like chemistry is actually like the, the hardest. And then like, I know medicine is also really contact hour heavy and like a like a big, big workload. And then I feel like it's, it's usually the STEM subjects um, that have more um, work. But like I said, everyone has a lot of work. Take this with a pinch of salt. I like, take this as a guideline if you're not doing chemistry. If you're applying for chemistry, then this is literally it. So yeah. Okay, so I've literally written it down in a notebook just so I don't forget. Um, so first we're going to start off with the contact hours, right? So every day I have two lectures a day um, from 9 to 11. So 9 a.m. is every day, Monday to, Monday to Friday. So that's 10 hours of lectures a week. Then twice a week I have labs. So each lab is six hours long. So labs are from 11 to 5. So I have that twice a week on Monday and Tuesday. Um, so that's 12 hours of labs a week. So literally on Monday and Tuesday, I have a nine to five day because I'm going in for lectures at nine and then labs finish at five. So literally that's 12 hours. So that's already 22 hours. That's already so much more than some people's whole contact hours. And we've just done labs and lectures. Okay. So every week we have a math class, um, which is about an hour. So one hour for the math class. And this stuff, so everything, so lectures, labs, and math class, this is what every chemistry student has. So lectures and labs are set by the, by the department. No matter what college you're in, you will go, everyone goes to the same lectures and everyone does the same labs and everyone has a math class. But now we're going to get into tutorials and tutorials are college based. So different colleges will have different amount of tutorials and will do different like topics at different times. So this is for Lady Margaret Hall. That's the college that I go to. Um, we typically have one tutorial a week, one to two tutorials a week. I think one is like the standard, but sometimes we'll have two. I know, like I know, I'm gonna say, I know new college, for example. So if you're thinking of applying to new college, I think like the first few weeks they had one tutorial a week. And then I was hearing like in the last few weeks they were having four a week. So <coughs> four tutorials a week, you know, that's a lot. Um, but I think one to two is like standard. I think that's like most colleges will have one to two. And each tutorial is one and a half hours long. So I feel like we should work on the upper bound. So let's just say two tutorials a week, even though not every week is like that. But let's just try and work out the maximum number of hours that you can have. So if we say two tutorials a week, that's three hours of tutorials. Um, Honestly, sometimes tutorials even like... They're meant to be one and a half hours and then they run over it into two hours. But let's just say one and a half hours, right? So that's three hours of tutorials. And that means you've calculated 26 contact hours. So every week you have uh, like 26 contact hours, like things that you have to attend. I know like for subjects like English, for example, um, like some of the lectures, like 
you don't have to go to them like they're kind of optional you kind of go if you think that, that they'll help you or if you're like interested in the topic if you think it'll help with your essay i think but for chemistry like the lectures like you have to go to like you cannot go like they are recorded but if you don't go like you have to watch it because the content in the lectures is what's going to be examined so there's no it's not it's not optional essentially so even if you don't go on the day you'll have to catch up later i just wanted to clarify that so these 26 hours is like a must right okay so now we're going to get into like the actual work so what about the actual work that we have to do so we have two labs a week and each lab has a lab report that you have to do after lab reports are literally the bane of my existence oh my gosh but we'll get onto that later right so each lab report i would say will take you like i'd say mm, like two to three hours more on the three hour like it's probably like three hours to be honest with you but some lab reports are a bit short and it might take you like two um but yeah lab reports can take three hours maybe even a bit more if you didn't really know what was going on in the lab but hopefully you did and so it's around it's around three hours so let's say two lab reports a week so that becomes six hours now of just lab work okay and then um for the math sheet so we have one math sheet a week that we go through in the class i say the math sheet takes like two to three hours like i think that's you know normal time um to do the sheet um so two to three hours let's just do an average let's just say 2.5 hours just to do an average um because some sheets will take longer some will take shorter as for tutorial sheets so the actual um like chemistry tutorial sheets basically how it works is like you'll get a sheet on a topic let's say i have an organic sheet on assets and bases usually like they'll they'll do it such that they'll do it such that you do the sheet without having all the lectures or maybe sometimes even any of the lectures so the sheets aren't aligned with the lectures so i might be doing something different let's say i'm doing stereochemistry in the lectures but my sheet is on acids and bases so basically you're supposed to go and read up on acids and bases yourself and then do the sheet so you're supposed to self-teach yourself the content so they expect you to go into the textbook and read it you read online watch youtube videos whatever so i say doing the reading doing the actually understanding the content for the sheet will take like four to six hours because you're going to be writing notes as well obviously you're not just reading you're, you're making notes um which is really annoying like if they just made the sheets like so that you do the sheet after you've had the lectures obviously that would be much easier right but it isn't like that it's before the lectures um so yeah you have to do the self-work so four to six hours of reading i would say and then a note and notes and then actually doing the questions will then take you like two to three hours because it's not straightforward questions you actually need to think like we're doing one sheet is definitely a multiple day effort like you don't just it's not just oh let me just do my sheet today like no it's like you start the sheet and then you continue it like it's definitely like a you know a multiple day effort so let's say, i'll say three hours doing the sheet more like three to be honest instead of two more like three and then for the reading let's go in the middle and let's say five so, and three hours of doing the sheet so that's an like eight hours to do one sheet a week where you have one sheet and a week where you have two sheets is really different because and having another sheet is an extra eight hours of work like it's really a lot so so going with two tutorials a week two sheets a week that means that we're spending 16 hours on sheets a week that's around how do we 50 and a half 50 and a half hours of work so that's yeah it's literally it's a lot of work so yeah so around 50 hours of work and bear in mind that like this is like the work that you have to do going to lectures you don't you won't understand everything in lectures you you really won't you know but there's no time so in an ideal world you will after lecture you will you know read up on the topic you know try and fill in the gaps that you had um maybe even write flashcards write like consolidate your notes for the for the lectures but there's no there's no time to do that you know like there's more work that you could be doing but you're already doing 50 hours a week just doing the work that you have to do so oxford terms are eight weeks long so in these eight weeks they cram in so much content so they're very very intense and then you have the vac so that comes from vacation so we call it vac for short um which is five weeks long so you might be thinking oh that's fine you get a five week holiday but it's not really a holiday because chances are you didn't fully understand everything in term like you have catching up to do so the vac is honestly for catching up and for consolidating you know because everything is moving at such a fast pace you've done this tutorial sheet then you go to the tutorial you realize oh you know i got this wrong you know you clear up some clarifications in the, in the tutorial 
but you don't really have time to fully consolidate that topic because you're thinking about the next sheet. You have another sheet to do. You have another sheet. So you have a you have a match sheet. You have a lab report to hand in. You know you have so much stuff to do, and it's also like you also want to have a life. Like you also want to see friends. You want to go out. You want to uh you know watch Netflix, read a book, do sport, do hobbies, whatever it is that you like to do. You want to have a life outside of your degree. So honestly, I feel like if you were to do every single piece of work, you know, spend so much time going over it, clarifying every single lecture, you would literally have no life. You would stay inside and work all day, every day, you know. So it's really impossible to be 100% on top of everything, I feel like. And that's okay. Like, and that's how it is. That's what's expected. Because even when we first got there, you know, in the first term, um... They were like, oh, you know, that you have the eight um, intense uh, week, you have the eight week terms, which are very intense. And then in the vacation, you consolidate. They literally said that. So it's like, yeah. And for chemistry, at the start of each term, you have collections. For most, I think for most subjects, you have collections. Um, And I, yeah, so, and I think for chemistry, it's like four papers, I think. So, th and, oh no, it's definitely four papers, right? Um, Or inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, physical chemistry, and maths. Um. I believe the chemistry papers are three hours long and the math paper is like two and a half hours long. So you literally have exams, like when you, like literally the first week when you come back. So the VAC is, you have to revise. Like you, it's literally not, a, you can't just do nothing in, in the VAC, you can't. I think my teacher said to me at the end of last term, he was like, he advises like two weeks, because you get five weeks, right? So two weeks of just like chilling and then three weeks of, um, doing work so really and truly the vac for most of the vac you're doing work you know like the terms is really really intense work you're doing so much work and then the vac is like still working but just like at a slower pace but you're still working so um so yeah so it's a lot of work as you can see how did i find it honestly it it, it was really hard but okay like manageable because of like the LMH chemist. Honestly, like Lady Margot is a really nice college. I love the chemist. If any of you guys are watching this, love you guys. We really like just kind of went through it together. Like we really help each other. So if we're doing sheets and anyone's like, oh guys, I really don't get this question. Like we'll just discuss it with each other. You know, we'll help each other with our lab reports. Maybe somebody has done the report and you're doing it and it's taking you a while. You can ask them to help you. How did you do this bit? You know, like we really just help each other um and we really struggled to, together like we talked together about how we don't know we didn't know what was going on in that lecture or you know we're doing this sheet and it's so hard it's taking so long you know then we'll be in the tutorials together because tutorials is like with i think like three people in the tutorial because there's six of us so it's three and three in the tutorial and in the tutorial we'll just be looking at each other like guys what's going on like it's just like the people at lmh yeah we really like show their chemistry together like chemistry is really a group effort and i honestly feel like if i was doing this alone i would not have survived you can't you can't do this degree alone you actually can't because it's just too much like you know um so yeah i know at some colleges i've, I've talked to people they don't really like talk they don't really get on well with their subject people so just pray that your subject people are nice um so you guys can really help each other or even if the even if um i mean the most ideal scenario is someone in your college right but you can even meet someone like in another college who does your degree you guys can kind of like help each other so it's all about i feel like help is really important honestly that's how i got through it so it was okay because when i was in the library at 2 a.m i wasn't alone like people were with me we were struggling through it together um, you know, we got through it together. Um, so yeah, so yeah, chemistry is a it's a lot though. It's literally a lot. Like, it's so much work, and I'm not even looking forward to going back. Like, I do love my degree. I do love chemistry. It's really interesting, but it's just like, oh, it's so intense. And I honestly feel like this this vac really really need this vac. Even if I'm still doing work, at least I can pace myself. You know, I'm not like constantly thinking about the next thing that needs to be done. Um, and stuff like that so yeah so the first term has been okay to the academics it's definitely been a big jump from a level to uni 
you know, definitely so much work. Like in A levels, I used to procrastinate a lot, and I still procrastinate at, U at uni, but I definitely procrastinate a lot less just because, like, the work has to be done. Like, I have so many deadlines, I can't afford to sit in bed and watch Netflix. I literally can't afford to do it because I literally have math sheet due on Monday, you know, lab reports due on Monday and Tuesday, tutorial sheet due on Wednesday, physics sheet due on Thursday. You know, like, it's just so much. I have to be in the library. Um, yeah, I, I forgot to mention, by the way, we had, like, two physics, um, classes in the term. I think in your first year, you have two physics classes a term. So one was on roll of charge, which is, like, electrostatics, and then classical mechanics. Um, so, yeah, that was just, like, another sheet to do. We had, we had had lectures on it, and then we did the sheet. So it was okay. So it wasn't, like, taking eight hours, because we really didn't have the lectures on it. Um, it was more like a math class. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's how I found my first time in, much in terms of academics. That's how much work people are doing here at Oxford. Like, if you do a STEM subject, you'll probably be doing, like, a similar amount of work. Um, but chemistry is notorious for being, like, the most, like, so much. Um, if you do, like, a humanity subject, you'll still be doing, like, a lot. You'll have, like, a lot of essays. Like, I know people who do law, for example. Like, they have so much work to do. I'm not saying that humanity students don't have work to do, you know? If you come to Oxford, be prepared Be prepared to work. Oxford is not just, oh, yeah, I got to Oxford University. No, you actually need to... They make you know that you're in Oxford. You get here and you're like, this is really Oxford. The Oxford is really Oxfording, you know? So, if you want to apply to Oxford, honestly... Bear that in mind. And if you don't get in, you know, it's sad. But to be honest, you're probably going to have a more chill uni experience. Not to say that other unis aren't hard. Like, they are. And they do have a lot of work. But they're probably just, a, even if it's just a little bit less than Oxbridge. And you appreciate that because you'll have more time to do social stuff and, and stuff like that, you know. Which is, you know, good. So that's it for this video, you know. Just reviewing my first term at Oxford in terms of academics. And also just, like, how much work does a chemistry student at Oxford do? Um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you have any questions about this video, um, yeah, leave it in the comments below. Also, share this video with anyone who's thinking of applying to Oxford, maybe he has an offer. Just share this video and um, subscribe to this channel as well if you want to see more Oxford content, more study content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!